brought Matt with me, but that was a mistake because his back is knackered. So I've got really no one to help me to load this stuff into the car. He's, uh, he's 34. Got the spine of a 90 year old. <laughs> I've seen other people just talk while they're packing out things to go, you know, orders and stuff. So I thought I'd give that a go. Is that a way of making content whilst working? Give it a go. Why not? It's uh, it's Thursday the 2nd of May. I've been out pretty much the whole day up until today. It's it's a big day in England uh, to vote, to vote for some, some good people into power. Mayors, local elections, police commissioners, stuff like that. Will it change anything? Probably not. Will it send a message to the people who hold proper power? Maybe. We'll see. But I've got, uh, I haven't got that many orders to pack actually. Sales have been slow. Don't know what they've been like for other resellers or other eBayers in general. But I've only got, I've only got a handful of these things to get out. Let's crack on and, and do it. These are good. These are replaceable or refillable, reusable deodorants. Prosecco and winterberry flavour. Mmm, Prosecco. Sold a couple of those, 11 quid plus postage on eBay, which is all right because I picked them up for 6.50 each. Little bit of profit in that. I mean, I mean you're talking about £4.50, £5 at a push profit in each one. But then I knew that was a sort of, that's the, that's the sort of amount profit I'd get. Let's print out some postage labels. Oh, yeah. Here's a little overview of how I pack. Over on the window ledge, I've got my bubble wrap padded envelopes. Into these will go the item that the person has bought and also one of these little promo leaflets that say thank you on the front but also on the back a little bit of information how you can leave us good good reviews. That's on Trustpilot, that one. And also it's like if you're on eBay or whatever, then leave us a positive review because it does make a big difference in the algorithms and whatnot. And then there's all the other social medias, X, Instagram, Facebook, the website, and the eBay shop. It's good to kind of, I'd say, create a community, but if you give good service, good products, just overall good, then the likelihood is even if they don't buy something from you ever again, they'll recommend you to someone else who will. Positivity breeds positivity. And on the flip side of that, negativity breeds negativity. So anyway, once that's in uh, with the leaflet and the, and the product, Peel it away. Down. I've got one of these as well. It's a little stamper that goes onto this part of the envelope with the website. I then get a little bit of tape, pop that over there, and it's just like a tamper seal. Just to make sure, you know, no one goes in through the envelope. If they do, it will disturb that to let me know whether things are in, in or not. I've got this, this is the postage label. I'm not gonna show you, oh, maybe I did. This is the postage label. I'm not gonna show it you like I just did. <laughs> With someone, just doxed someone. Doxed them, there we go. And that's it. That's one item picked, packed, ready to go. That one uh, being sent by Yodel, £2.88 for eight. Shoebox up to one kilo. I think that's, that. well, that is the best price that eBay offers. It'll do. I wanna minimize postage costs, which includes the cost of the envelope, you know, the the labels, all the bits and pieces, all taken into account when you are uh, waiting for your postage costs. Someone else has bought one, so I do the entire process again. Here we go, let's see how fast it actually takes me to, to pack something start to finish. I've got everything to hand, the item, all that sort of stuff. Start the clock. I'm not gonna rush. I'm gonna say like this is the average time, the average amount of time it takes me. Get it done, stomp. Tape. Postage label, done, stop the clock. No idea what that is, that is because I'm gonna put that in in the edit, but that's how long it takes me to, to pick and pack an item. I think that's quite fast, and that's quite good, and it goes like protected, it goes branded, it goes, you know, when you're good, you're good. What a tit. All right, what else have I sold? I have a busy weekend coming up. Liverpool play Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday. So I'm supervising security for that at Anfield. And then that evening, I'm at the Philharmonic, I think, for Simon and Garfunkel. Hello darkness, my old friend. Friday, tomorrow evening, is the Philharmonic Orchestra. Which is relative. I mean, no one ever misbehaves at the Philharmonic Orchestra. Actually, I, I have ejected someone from an orchestra performance uh they fully deserved it by the way i wasn't just being mean just he was 
loud, disruptive, and when he was told to not please, please don't be loud and disruptive, um, he got even and louder, even more disruptive. So we were asked to escort him out. We did, but usually they're well behaved. What else is going on? Oh yes, so I'm going to an auction tonight. Don't know if that'll be part of this video or a video that I'm going to do maybe like tomorrow or whatever. But there is a the, the trade outlet that I go to. They're doing an auction with even more reduced prices, sold by the pallet. So nails me a port, which is where my brother lives. So I'm gonna go over there and that starts at seven, it's five to four now. So set off here about six, get over there. The auction mate, yeah, I'll, I'll do some video and you can be like, ooh, auction, that's exciting. It is a little bit, isn't it? So yeah, let's see, it's gonna be interesting. I've got plenty of stock, the death pile. I mean, I started getting it down, it's over there. <laughs> that's that's i want to say three days worth of pickups various charity shops uh trade out there and then i'm gonna come home tonight almost certainly having bought a warehouse worth of stuff but i've got as you can see lots of lots of empty shelves so that's always handy <laughs> They were a bugger to find. Yeah, obviously an, an upcoming video will be showing what I actually managed to pick up recently from various outlets. It wasn't such a, a big haul, like cost-wise. I think I said the other day, we bought like 40 quids worth from a car boot, and then there was just over 90 quids worth from the trade outlet. So currently what I've got listed on the eBay is about £9,100 worth of stuff. Once I add all of that stuff on, I'm hoping maybe we're looking at £1,200. That's uh, £1,200. <laughs> £12,000 worth of stuff. Which, again, that's more stock than I need to be holding. But I've done a lot of buying recently. Not much listing and, again, not much selling either. So, it's it's... As a one-man band, it's very difficult to have all three columns constantly on the go. It's like you'll have one column. So you've got three columns. You've got uh, buying the stuff, you've got listing the stuff, and then you've got selling the stuff. So the buying is a good part. It involves going out, spending money, thinking, oh, this is great. I've got a bargain. I can resell it for this much money. The middle bit is the slow, tedious bit with not a lot of dopamine because you've got to just grind through it, take a picture, take several pictures, describe it, make sure all of the item specifics are correct. And then this column, the selling, the picking, the packing, the sending it out to people, the getting money back, loads of dopamine there. So there's loads of dopamine here, loads of dopamine there, but this middle bit is the bit that, there's a bottleneck between buying, listing, and uh, selling the stuff as well. And if this bit in the middle, breaks down it doesn't matter how big this column is or how big this column is eventually it'll affect this it'll bring all of your sales down because if if your little uh, your funnel's not going through of in process out then you find yourself with not many sales which is which is kind of where I am at the moment I had a um, fantastic run up to the end of April and then just that final week or so it's just gone and it's just just because I haven't listed that much stuff so much stuff I need to list. But let's get let's get cracking. Massage roller sold for six pounds eighty nine. That's all in. You'll remember I got this off the mystery box that I paid what fifty quid for. Um, with the various bits and pieces that have gone out, I did make the fifty quid back. So I've I've covered the cost of the mystery box. But in terms of you know it said it had two hundred quid's worth of stuff in there, it didn't. It really didn't. I've probably, all the stuff that I've sold completely, maybe 70 to 80 pounds total sold. So wasn't wasn't worth it. But I said that in the mystery box video. I was like, listen, if you're going to get a mystery box, you've got to be prepared to lose money because there's a lot of crap in there. There's a lot of stuff just to, to pad it out. Anyway, this. I had, um, I had two neutral feedbacks come in today and uh, they both said item never arrived. 
they were both from the same person now that for me rings alarm bells so i sold I've, I've sent them two separate things if neither of them have arrived that makes me think like why have you sent me the wrong address have you actually received them and now you're trying to blag that they've they weren't delivered because they're relatively cheap cheap items i sent them on track done signed for just go have them so again just just red flags there so I'm like, you know you, you didn't have to leave me like a neutral feedback on this you could have just dropped me a message they haven't replied yet I'll, I'll see what they say just looking out the window here danny's giving the chickens a trampoline i'll not film her doing it because uh, yeah she's just giving them a trampoline and she's just cracked an egg for them oh she's she's getting attacked <laughs> they're all trying to escape oh it looks like they were out of food as well proper farmer's wife feed the chickens gave them some corn earlier on obviously it wasn't enough right on with the packing oh you love these remember on the last pickup stick on bras he said i was mad for getting them mad well there we are sold one i've not i've just completely i'm gonna lie completely eyeballed this one so i've not run any numbers or anything i've just kind of listed it at a price that was competitive or at least would price lower than uh, any competitors that i've seen on ebay but i've not i've not figured out how much it would cost to post or anything like that so got myself two two weapons in this fight against postage costs one is this if it fits in this little slot here then it can go as a letter oh it's tight you know oh no i mean it fits technically that fit through it went through the slot so i'm going to send it as a letter now the next thing i've got in this fight against postage costs is my scale now if it weighs less than 100 grams i can again send it as the cheapest one 85 pence this is going to cost to send me because it cut it this weighs 57 grams and i know for a fact second class letter less than 100 grams cost 85 pence to send so what does that do for the bottom line of that let's find out this is off to greasby on the wirral may not mean anything to you the casual viewer but to me i uh i once had a friend from greasby i hope she's well don't think this is her so what were we saying there what's that done for the bottom line once we take away all of ebay's fees and the postage cost how much have i made on that let's have a little look not looking good bear with <laughs> oh no oh no at that price i've made a 30p loss I mean, no, 20p loss. I have to increase the price by 30p just to break even. The cost of them was 67 pence. I sold it for £2.18. So we've got a minus the transaction fee of 68 pence. That's what eBay takes off because they're eBay. But the postage label cost 85 pence. And uh, I did a 2% ad fee, 2% uh, uh, ad, uh, which worked out at 5 pence. So uh, the order earnings from a £2.18 sale was 60 pence it cost me 80 pence all in to buy each one so i'm gonna have to up that price i'm gonna do that now before i forget so i've now upped the price <laughs> to two pound 49 so that on each um each sale at least i'll make a couple of pence now these are what are known as fodder it will go out it'll go out with all the other stuff but all it serves to do is increase my positive feedback on ebay they should do that they are new items they're in good condition and they do what they're supposed to do and they're cheap two pound fifty you get two stick on bras i will make five to ten pence on each sale of these however as i said that's that's not the reason for selling those they have now become fodder fodder positive what would you call it engagement farming if it was on twitter or something like that sold for the purpose of increasing my reputation on ebay my reputation as a person is already good we got here yeah. Happy retirement. Happy retirement pack. Uh, that again was in the mystery box that I've got. Now it's sold. Away it goes. I have to go as a small parcel that one. So I sold it for £5.50. £5.50. It's going to cost about £2.88 to post. I'll make two, two quid on it. Two quid if I'm lucky. But as I said, this, this was one of the items that was uh, in the mystery box. 50 quid. Some some pieces were all right. Some were just absolute junk. I, I considered that a junk piece. So to even make anything on it, I'm happy. Oh, last one of this set of orders to pack off at eBay is this. These always do well. The uh, this little, the child or Grogu as is his name. I don't actually I think I've just gendered him. I don't actually think he has. They don't know if it's a he or a she in the show. So this is the they them grogu. 
from the Mandalorian. In the bag. Early in Backstitch's uh, inception, it was decided that it was going to be a carbon neutral, positive for the environment sort of friendly company. So we use these recycled mailer bags. Now, not only are these recycled, but the bits in here as well. So once you open this, if you, re if you tear along there, it has another sealable thing. So whoever gets one of these mailer bags can use them again. So it's not a single use plastic as well, which uh, which we're trying to cut down on just as a as a planet is. Everyone's like, oh, it was fine for years. It's never been fine. <laughs> this is the thing, ne single use plastics have never been fine, but uh, we're doing what we can. There we go, that's Grogu, don't look, don't look at the name. That's Grogu ready to go to his no new home. That'll do, that'll do for this. Um, thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, like, subscribe and all that jazz. And um, stay tuned for more. I'll let, I'll, I'll let you know about the auction. Probably do some little stories and whatnot from, from that experience. But yeah. Six and a half hours later. Lot number. We'll do the two lots of this. Well, we did well. Start off seventy-two. Yeah, Matt, to, uh, to say thank you for coming to the auction with me. I've got you this highly sought after collectible vinyl album. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's uh, the Diamond Accordion Band, Play Jolson. You're welcome. Right, so to, yeah, give me some new pickles. Just under 75 quid spent at this auction loads of these what are they called bath seats yeah. um just sold one on ebay for 45 plus postage at five pounds so 50 quid sold and i picked these up for like five pound per thing um what else did i get pickles five pickles they're just for me and then some essential oils at like 20p a pop uh some grease proof paper again consumable stuff will fly out on ebay and that's it, just, just 75 quid's worth of stuff. That'll do. Not, not a bad not a bad little auction. There were um, some like random pallets worth of stuff, but didn't really, didn't really fancy it. Brought Matt with me, but that was a mistake because his back is knackered. So I've got really no one to help me to load this stuff into the car. He's, uh, he's 34. Got the spine of a 90 year old. <laughs> Look at him! It's ridiculous. So we're all done at the auction. How was it for you, Matt? Her back's fucking killing. He hated every minute of it. <laughs> Look at him. The car is absolutely rammed. It's so packed in here that I've had to use the cup holders and the central compartment here just to stick me pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Matthew. Let's go home. Let's go. Thanks for watching this video. I don't know if this is the outro um, or not. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And join me again for more auctions. I barely took any footage in there. Hunching down because it's a weird angle again. Um, but just wrapping up this video, it's half ten at night and uh it's time to just have to get all this stuff in the house this evening uh because alara is in nursery first thing tomorrow morning because i would love to just leave it and sort it out in the morning but i can't and there goes the light and there goes the end of the video thanks bye the next morning hi there let's bookend what happened at the auction it's now the next morning that's <laughs> the next afternoon <laughs> by the time i've got around to filming this um, here's what I managed to pick up. I spent uh, 70 pounds, around 70 pounds, something like that. Most of the pickup was, uh, I'll step over here for the purpose of doing this. Uh, I picked up nine of these at five pounds plus VAT each. Um, I was confident in uh, bidding for these because, in fact, I was the only person that bid on them. I think they started off going 10 pounds. I was like, nope, nope, drop your price, drop your price, drop it, not bidding 10 pounds. Started off the auction five pounds. I was the only person that bid on them. Uh, there was nine of them, so I spent forty-five pound plus VAT to get these. Um, 
I just sold one on eBay. I picked one up from the Warrington Trade Outlet uh, and it cost about 12 to 14 pounds, something like that, and resold for 45 pounds plus five pound postage. So there was plenty of profit in in one, about 10, 10 ish pounds profit uh, at that price. So picking up a load of these um, to put on eBay for a, well, 50 pound all in uh, will get me at least a 30 pound profit per item. So that's a really good deal picking up nine of those. Here's some other things that I bought. This, <laughs> this next one was just for me. It was on the shelf as I was leaving on the way out. I thought I'm gonna get a few of these. It's pickles, <laughs> it's pickles, kosher pickles. Um, zesty garlic flavor. Now you might be thinking, you'll never sell them, man. What are you getting them for? They're for me. <laughs> don't know why, don't know what it is, but I, I've got like a pickle fixation going on at the moment. So uh, just got a few of these from my personal collection. Put them in the snack pile. Um, I picked up 17 of these pine essential oil um, things. Probably keep one for myself for my diffuser that I have up there. At the moment, it's spraying out this lovely peppermint smell. In fact, oh, I've got a few of them. Oh, that's the point. Stay there, stay there. These are great little diffusers. Uh, they're brand new sealed. Uh, I think I've got them up for about £15 plus postage. Uh, it cost me about a fiver each. Um, and they are rechargeable diffusers and they just spray out this beautiful mint. This one is peppermint, but you can put any essential oil in. So obviously this one's going to be pine. It, the, the room will be smelling like a brand new car. Beautiful. But I've got a few of those up. That was just to show you the, the diffuser. Pop it back on shelf. Um, so 17 of those. Um, grease proof hamburger wrappers. 20 pence per pack. And there were one, two, three, four, five, six packs of those. They'll go up on eBay, uh, probably about a five or a pack. How many's in each one? About a hundred, hundred of each color. Consumables coming up to barbecue season, coming up to festival season. There's gonna be loads of uh, food outlets, burger places, barbecue places that want to wrap that food for people. So that's, that's the purpose of that pickup. Down there it goes. And the last one, um, I thought I was buying just a bag, one bag of these. And in each one was um, these, what are they called? Crocodile clips, 12 crocodile clips, binder clips. So I thought, well, 20, 40, 60, 80, one pound, fantastic. And I can sell them on for a pound each. So I spent a pound on it, sell it on for five. Apparently what I've done is it's 20 pence per sack of these. I got six six sacks, so that's a cracking deal because each sack will sell on for about a five five pound, and I've I've spent um, a quid on this entire box, so good deal. Spent uh, what was I, mean, I spent my, I spent a pound on the box, six bags, and it'll resell for uh, thirty quid. Take out eBay fees and postage, and you're looking at twenty quid profit from spending a pound turned one pound into 20. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, folks. There's two There's two ways, volume and big ticket sales. So volume is you have a decent margin, maybe small items, but you sell a lot of them. Uh, and the other way is you buy high ticket items like laptops, televisions, electronics, kitchenware, stuff like that. Uh, maybe it'll cost you 20 or 30 pound per item, but you sell it on for 50, 60, 70 pounds. So you get a bigger chunk of money. The risk with that one is, if you do have an outlay of maybe 20 or 30 pounds and it ends up being defective or broken or whatever, then you've lost on the return. You know, when someone said, this this doesn't work, you've got to give people a refund. So you, you've spent postage and you've spent uh, money buying it in the first place. You had a huge loss. It's a a bit of a gamble but if you've got the capital to do that if you've got the liquidity from selling to have that, that gamble and not really affect your bottom line too heavily then it is worth that risk so there we go that's that's the pickups from the auction thanks for watching this video like subscribe follow all of that jazz thanks very much for your support and i'll see you on the next video bye